Now let me get on with my other guests, G. Raja Raman, Rakesh Rao and Deepti Bupaya also with me. Raja, uh, medals in four digits from this Paralympic Games, while we know that the athletes have prepared very well. One reason that you would say stands out for you that really contributed to India's success. I think uh, the coming to the the coming together of all stakeholders. I think it was very important uh, that this synergy came together like it did this time. I think that everybody's been trying even over the past few years, but this time it has come together beautifully. Uh, the government, the uh, federation, and the private uh, stakeholders, the NGOs, Deepthi sitting here, all of them have come together. I think that has been beautiful to watch from the distance. And really amazing results we've got because of the commitment that the athletes have shown. Uh, full credit only to the athletes. Um, everybody else has played only a supporting role. Well, Deepthi, uh, coming to you, um, how does India now keep up this momentum? Paris is just three years away. Uh, what does the stakeholders need to do? Uh, first of all, I think it's such an incredible moment for all of us as Indians to see this and celebrate India more than anything else. Um, you know, 18 medals at the Par Paralympics is just unbelievable. Um, I was at Rio and, uh, you know, saw the four medals happen. And I even when I thought that we will be moving forward, I probably didn't estimate that we'll reach, uh, you know, 18 uh, medals. But I think, um, like uh, Mr. Rajaraman very clearly and rightly said that it is the collaboration of key stakeholders coming together, working together and ensuring that our athletes had enough exposure, had enough support uh, wherever they needed, whenever they needed. And, uh, and athletes deserve all the credit. They have their own unique challenges, uh, their, their disability to handle along with playing at the highest level in sport. So I think it's been incredible. Paris is very exciting. We're just three years away. And I think if all goes well and we can continue this momentum, um, definitely we can, you know, even hit the double, I mean, the hundred number uh, of qualifications. Wow. I think more, more uh, athletes to participate, more national competitions, mm. uh, you know, getting classification. That is one of right. the biggest issues that we've always faced in uh, para sport, where for classification, mm -hmm. athletes need to travel abroad. And that mm. itself takes one and a half, two lakhs plus their escort funding. Mm -hmm. So if we can get classifiers to India and, you know, classify our athletes in the right uh, medical way, in, which is the International Paralympic Standard, I think uh, definitely we're going to going to see a lot of lot of lot of different things happening uh, for para sport. But yes, it is a very unique space. Uh, there's there needs to be a lot of attention. Uh, the medical uh, disabilities are very different, very unique. Uh, even if you take javelin and look at all our right. athletes, they've been very different in with their disabilities. So I think as a country, we need to understand more about disability. And then I'm sure the way we're celebrating it, it's only going to move ahead from here. Deepthi, and many congratulations to you because you have supported all the four gold medalists who have medaled at this game. Rakesh, you know, picking up from where, what Deepthi has been talking about, getting the classifications done correctly, we have to speak about Vinod Kumar. That man cannot be forgotten at this moment. What went wrong with him was he was not under the uh, class that he was meant to be. How can India and the ecosystem make sure that such things don't happen and we don't lose out on a medal? Rita, first of all, you know, you have to give it, a, I mean, we have to deep dive into this entire process of classification because I think that is the most important part. We right. have seen that world over, including mm -hmm. the US, they all are actually concerned about it and a lot has been written and a lot has been, you know, spoken about it. But then that apart, what I'm trying to say here is that we need to be honest with ourselves and that honesty will come as a society. We need to make sure that when we talk about people with different abilities, with special abilities, I think we need to treat them with a lot, a lot more dignity and respect. And also to make sure that, you know, that we make things convenient for them. So far it mm -hmm. has been challenging. They face a certain amount of challenge that apart, we add to it. That is because we don't ease, we don't do anything great to make sure that they feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. That is what my primary question has been that, you know, tomorrow the, I mean, the day this game ends, that's today. Tomorrow, if India wins right. in a cricket test mm -hmm. match, everything will be pushed mm -hmm. into the background. 
that is what my biggest fear is you know this is all fine we have I mean, to, i'm so happy we have to sustain the momentum and we have won 18 medals from this edition of the games it's a historic first for india and the need of the r is to sustain the momentum thank you very much deepti raja and rakesh for joining me on the broadcast this morning